In this video, I am going to discuss uh, about numerical problems of uh, engineering mechanics and based on la law of parallelogram and some sort of resolution of forces. The examples uh, of resolution of forces will also be there. So, okay, so uh, I am going to follow the book uh, of engineering mechanics uh, written by S.S. Bhabhikatti. So, I will uh, uh, solve here. I am going to solve around five to eight problems in this video uh, so depending upon the time available so uh, let's start the numerical problem okay. so this is our question number 2.1 the first question of second chapter so I would discuss here okay so you see and read the question carefully the resultant of two forces one of which is double the other is 260 newton double the other is 260 newton okay if the direction of larger force is reversed and the and other remains unaltered the resultant reduces to 180 newton so two in two cases resultants are given determine the magnitude of forces and angle between of forces so uh, total three unknown given so uh, it's really interesting question the first question is really interesting uh, the given okay so the resolution of two forces we don't know how forces are uh, they are acting now let us assume these are the two forces suppose this is one force and this is second force even any kind of forces are there like this is one and uh, this is second we don't know what kind of force are there but there are two forces we are sure so let us assume this is f1 this is f2 and angle between them is theta okay so angle between them is theta and r is the resultant of these forces which is given 216 case number one so this will help to write uh, equation number one and in second case the f2 this is f1 and second force which is larger okay larger force is reverse so larger force will wo reverse kar diya like this okay pehle aise lag raha tha abhi aise lag raha hai aise lag raha hai yahan pe okay so now this would be the angle so now this is the condition the resultant of two forces one of which is double the other is 260 newton if the direction of larger force is reversed reversed and the other remains unaltered the resultant reduces to 180 newton determine the magnitude of forces and angle between of forces okay so the question is solved here very uh, lucid manner let the magnitude of smaller force be f okay so let the magnitude of smaller force be f that's why the magnitude of larger force will be 2f and has the magnitude of larger force is 2f because one of which is double the other okay so this is the one statement so we clear that f1 is equal to f so f2 is equal to 2f that is written here okay let theta be the angle between the two forces okay as i show you uh, theta be the uh, theta be the angle between the two forces therefore from the condition one it means law of parallelogram we know that r is equal to f1 square plus f2 square plus 2 f1 f2 cos theta so that is r is equal to 260 newton okay so now we remove this root so f square is plus 2 f okay f1 is equal to f then f2 substitute the value of f1 and f2 in terms of f so f2 is equal to 2f then cos theta then 2f square is equal to 260 so now this is the simplified equation like this you are seeing this equation now come to the second condition again we will get other equation then two unknown okay total three unknown then we will resolve it Okay. 
from the condition two. What is the condition two? Condition two says that you see here, if the direction of larger force is reversed, it means just minus sign will apply, and the other remains unaltered. Okay, no problem. So now, if same condition, same formula, everything is same, but just replace your F two with minus F two. Okay, so here minus F two, so minus F two, and here minus F two, and this is the final resultant one eighty. Okay, as given, so uh, resultant is one eighty. Then simplify this equation. So F one is F. F one is equal to f square, so two f one f two, so minus two f and f two is two f cos theta theta. Okay, so this is the now angle is also change because one eighty plus theta and plus f two square, so minus two f two two f square, and this is so now this is our second equation. Okay, now solve these two equation. So this is five f one square. You may solve the equation again. So equation number two five f square minus four f square cos theta is equal to three two four double zero. Okay, so here is this is the equation number second. And five f square plus four f square cos theta is equal to sixty seven six double zero. So these are two equations. Okay. So we'll get cancel by adding. So ten f square is equal to three two so zero 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 and six four zero one. Ah, uh, this is eight nine ten. Zero, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this would be equal to ten thousand. Okay. So F is equal to hundred newton. This is the F and F one is equal to hundred newton. So F two is equal to two hundred newton. Substituting the values of F one and F two in equation one, we'll get the value of theta. So this was the simple problem based on the Law of parallelogram, and uh, this is just uh, resolution of forces. Nothing but the com opposite of composition of forces. A force can be resolved in n number of forces. I already explained in a, in my one video. Okay, so I but I uh, saw this topic and again I just uh, brief to you. Uh, this is a resolution. This is a single force. The same effect can be produced by n number of forces like. This is the force actual, and this one force, this force, this force, this force. These forces are the resolution of this force. It means the same effect can be created by many forces, as is it by one force. So okay, so either it can be resolved in two parts, two uh, direction. Okay, it's the best. The if some component here, some component. Component in is in, the, in this direction will give the same effect as it is by this force. Okay, this is the resolution of force, and where uh, there is an angle given, cos cos sine will also be cos component will be there, and uh, opposite to that is sine component. So here will be cos theta, and here will be sine theta. Okay, I have this now. You see the problem number second. It is nothing but again resolution of forces some some kind. Just I read the problem. I am not going to solve this. Very simple. The ये लगा है. Wire of electric pole shown in figure. Okay, uh, this uh, makes sixty degree to the horizontal. Is subjected to twenty kilonewton. Find the horizontal and vertical component of the force okay a guy wire okay wire of electric pole shown so this is the force 
and this is 60 degree angle so very simple way we can resolve this like this in two component these are the alternate angle 60 degree so this will be 20 cos 60 and 20 sin 60 a uh, simple okay so 20 cos 60 and 20 sin 60 are the components horizontal and vertical components so simply we get answer now third a block being w is equal to 10 kilonewton resting on a, an inclined plane as shown in figure determine the components normal to the normal to and parallel to the inclined plane so it's so simple again i solve here determine the components uh, this is the body surface and this is the block w okay the cell weight of block will act like this and the components will be parallel to the plane is like this and normal to the plane is like this so if this angle is theta this will also be theta so this component will be cos theta and this component will be sin theta okay so these are the components okay if this is theta this will also be theta okay and this is sin theta so simple huh? now question number four is very simple again Question number four you see here carefully determine determine the resultant of three forces acting on a hook as shown in figure so now we are going to calculate the resultant of these three forces one two three so this is the hook and forces are acting like this so uh, resultant can be calculated by resolving all the forces in horizontal and vertical direction first then these forces now can be uh, uh, written in the form of law of parallelogram so the resultant of these components finally can be calculated by using law of parallelogram and the angle between these forces will be theta theta is equal to 90 degree so for that we already know r is equal to summation fx square plus f by square okay root of summation fx square plus f by square so now you write here in uh, brief here the force f1 f2 f3 70 80 50 newton then x component of this force y component so this force f1 f1 is 70 so this component horizontal 25 25 50 and vertical component so cos 50 and sin 50 70 cos 50 and 70 sin 50 80 cos 25 80 cos 25 horizontal component and 80 sin 25 vertical component okay so okay so uh, f this is f3 and this horizontal and this vertical component vertical component will be like this this is the horizontal one horizontal one vertical component this vertical horizontal vertical horizontal like this like this hor vertical horizontal so okay so here is uh, vertical component is negative because standard sign convention we can positive and y downward is negative and y downward is again negative like this okay so these are the summation fx summation f y then r is equal to root of summation fx square plus summation f y square is equal to this and theta is equal to so what is the theta theta is equal to we know that this is the f y and this is fx this is resultant r so resultant r if this is can fix this is fx this is f y this is theta so summation f y summation f x and this is angle theta or alpha whatever angle is given so alpha is equal to tan inverse f y over f x is equal to the answer so it's very simple so similarly guys you can solve this problem also this is very simple the four components are given you read and try to solve by yourself okay so i just brief x component y component x component y component x component y component x component y component these are the four components okay this is the slope tan theta theta one like okay theta two so tan theta is equal to tan inverse one by two tan theta is equal to tan inverse four by three and theta you can consider this and theta four this theta three this so okay so these are the angles once you calculate angle 
then summarize this direction all the forces in di this direction can be taken positive all the forces in di this direction can be taken negative all the forces in this, this this direction upward vertically positive and downward vertically negative so these are the forces so summation fx with sign convention summation fy with sign convention you write all the forces like fx is equal to 200 cos 26.565 because angle theta 1 okay already calculated okay theta 1 will be equal to the tan inverse of 1 by 2 so this angle then this minus 120 cos and this is uh, again okay this direction this force desires minus 50 cos 60 minus 50 cos 60 and this is plus 100 sin 40 okay then f by then r then tan inverse you see it carefully then practice problem okay so, uh, so very similar problems are there you may solve the all the problems okay so i'm not going to discuss all the problems here so thanks for watching and uh, keep me watching subscribe my channel uh, so uh, and uh, some more videos I will uh, uh, provide you. Thanks a lot for watching.